Harrison Bergeron? A plus. Uh-oh. <laughs> How many years have you been held back now, Harrison? Three? Four. Well, you never get to grade 15 with these marks. <laughs> I know, it's pretty embarrassing having your younger brother in the same class. Mm. When was your band last adjusted? A month ago. They increased the intensity? And the frequency. I mean, it just doesn't help. Don't get discouraged, Harrison. You know, many pupils would be tempted to cheat on their tests, give wrong answers. You've got a lot of integrity. Yeah, I wish I could get rid of some of it. <laughs> oh, does that beat all? John Fletcher, tax evasion. Ready, aim, fire! We'll have more executions coming to you live from San Quentin after this word from our side. Checkmate. Sorry. That's all right. You can't help it. Can't all be average. My science teacher says someday we all will be. <laughs> it just all pisses me off. I mean, I don't want people messing with my brain. Does that seem right to you? Dad! Does that seem right to you? Sorry, son. I, I, I just got a buzz. I, I kind of lost the thread of what you were saying. I'm just saying that if I have such a great life ahead of me, how come I feel so lousy every time I think about living it? Oh, did you see that pass box? Haven't you ever had your band off before? Before? I mean, being smart's gotten me in trouble my whole life. I mean, being smarter doesn't sound all that great. Get the police! Where's your band? It's all right, don't worry. Check him out in there. Come on. Not him. Sorry, man, no exceptions. As you know, since the Second Revolution, America has been striving to create a truly egalitarian society, a society of average people. Well, the problem is that to run such a society, requires certain high administrative functions that the average person is simply incapable of performing. You mean like senator or president? Oh, good lord, no. I mean, anyone with average intelligence or less could uh, handle those. Today, there are fewer than 100,000 law enforcement officers in the whole country, less than 3% of what there were before the revolution. Now, I won't promise that I can place you exactly where you want, but is there any particular administrative department that whets your interest? Well, sir, I think I could be useful in television. Television? Well, it's the thread that holds together the fabric of our society. What's wrong? It's this place. I don't know, it's crazy. It, that McCroskey guy came this close to blowing up Morocco. Newman thought it was sort of funny. It's a prick. It shouldn't work like that. I mean, we can do some good here. Just because everyone's equal, maybe we can bring half of the people up rather than, than, than bring half of them down. The smarter people get, the more efficiently they produce. And the more efficiently they produce, the more people get left behind. And that pisses them off. Bingo. Revolution. That's why we have a Department of Economic Suppression. Yeah, well, so we oh, that is the thing. That is the beauty and horror of this place. They've thought of everything, they've anticipated everything. It's like the whole future has been rewound and corrected. Wait a minute. Does that include us? Jesus Christ. I mean, what the hell was that about? I mean, she was gone for six hours. Are you afraid she was going to tell the whole world about your little empire? The operation was a mistake. Nevertheless, when you're recruited, it's for life. You can't leave the center. Yeah, well, that's bullshit. As soon as she's better, we're both leaving. I'm afraid that's not possible. What is your problem, anyway? I mean, she wasn't trying to hurt you. Maybe she just wanted to go to the zoo or ride a bus. You've always got to be in control. But she's not dead. <laughs> you can still love her.
Open, please. Could you give me a hand with this? Yeah. What the Back hell off. are you doing? Back off, Jerome! Listen, kid, give me that off. weapon. Back off, Come on, let's go. Let's go. I'm not taking it. Come on, get out of here. Harrison, give me that thing. thing. Back off. My name is Harrison Bergeron. I work at a place called the National Administration Center where, though you don't know it, you run your lives. I've illegally taken charge of this control room because I want to get you to overthrow your government and the whole system of forced equalization. As long as I can stay on the air, I'm going to try and show you some of the things people are capable of. What you might be capable of, too. But for you to understand what I'm going to try and show you, you're going to have to do something you've been told is wrong and evil. You're going to have to take off your band. Please, take it off, right now. It's not evil. If it was, why would we administrators be allowed to walk around without them? <laughs> yes, that's right. We are. The people who run things figure that if you all found out there's a place like this where people would get these special privileges, you wouldn't stand for it. Well, I hope they're right about that. The most important thing about a person is what makes him different from anybody else. And that difference is what's going to make someone else fall in love with you. See, I know this because since I've been in here, I've been lucky enough to really love someone and to know all the things about her that are special and that are different and love all of them. That kind of love, real love, it's the greatest thing in the world.